Time passes. We're hearing more about the heroes of Montecito, including one woman who saved dozens of lives when the mudslides started. CBS 2's Peter Dowd has the story of that Montecito firefighter from ground zero. Peter. And Rick, her name is Maeve Juarez, and she happened to be next to a gas line when it exploded. She then risked her own life to save more than 100 people. Turn around! The flash flood's right there! The flash flood's right there! Trees, rocks, mud. It's a wake-up call that nobody wants. Wake that up! It's been a little over two weeks since the sleepy coastal town of Montecito was turned upside down by devastating mudslides. We have a river flowing down San Ysidro Road. We definitely weren't expecting this to happen. Maeve Juarez is a division group supervisor with the Montecito Fire Department. She says the entire department was on duty and deployed throughout the district in anticipation of the rain that night. Even though they were ready, no one could have predicted what was coming. Around 2.30, I think it really kind of started to rain. I was sitting on the San Ysidro Creek Bridge. I just taken a video of the rain coming down. And about 65 seconds after I left the bridge is when the gas explosion took out the bridge. 65 seconds that gave Mae just enough time to get out of the blast radius. It was parked right here in this void space. This is the bridge that exploded. It definitely didn't look anything like this before. You were very close to death. Yes. I feel incredibly lucky. Although shaken and alone, without hesitation, she turned around and headed back towards the massive flames. Got a bright orange glow, some kind of uh, fireball. This home right here, this is where the two burn victims, they were sleeping and the gas explosion woke them up. They had no choice but to jump out the second story. And when she jumped out of her house, her nightgown had ripped off, and so she didn't have any clothing. It was still pouring rain. I knew that she was probably going into shock, so the only choice that I had was to give her my clothes. You literally gave a woman the clothes off your own back. Yes, I did. Badly burned and unable to walk because she broke both of her feet jumping out of the window, Maeve had to carry her nearly a quarter mile through the mud to an open field where she could be airlifted out. She kept telling me how much pain she was in, and I thought it was from her burns. I didn't realize that she had broken bones. Exhausted, muddy, and wet, Maeve and her team worked tirelessly through the night, searching for people in homes like this. Once the sun came up, they could see the true scope of the damage and knew their work had only just begun. Hundreds of residents needed to get out, but the path to safety was completely shut off by debris flow on either side. Maeve radioed in. Yeah, affirmative. It's too dangerous with the water flow right now. We had no escape route. We couldn't get people out and we couldn't get any resources in. So for the first 24 hours, we ended up flying any evacuees out by helicopter. And while Maeve shies away from the term hero, I just was doing the job that I showed up to do that day. That's exactly what she is. Now the raging waters have subsided and the creeks have returned to their normal trickle. And even though Montecito's stunning views remain, the scars on this community may never be erased. This looks like a war zone. It is a war zone. Do you think Montecito will ever be the same? Someday, not anytime soon. I think that a lot of people will stay, but it was pretty traumatizing for everyone. Hmm. Maeve is quick to credit all the first responders, especially from her firehouse, who put their lives on the line that night. And even though they still insist they were just doing their job, Pat and Rick, you still can't help but marvel at their bravery. And the decision that she made at that just seconds mm -hmm. to rip off her clothes, give, give them to this woman. But still, just when the explosion happened, she had very little time to get out of there. Incredible. She stayed. Mm -hmm. hmm. Shows you what good hands were in. You know, Absolutely. These rescuers, Kudos these firefighters, to all of those fire law enforcement. Yeah. Yeah.